you guys, the cicadas followed me from Japan. Rude, rude, rude. Hey guys, so today is, I think, Tuesday. I don't know what the date is. I'll write it on the bottom if it actually matters. But I was just sitting here out on the patio on this beautiful Michigan afternoon. And it's about 80 degrees and I'm sitting in the shade enjoying the sun and it's not hot. It's just beautiful out here today. Of course, as soon as I feel inspired to sit down and film, my battery dies because that's just how it works, right? Anyways, I was just sitting out here because we're gonna be meeting up with some friends again later today. But I was just enjoying the beautiful Michigan summer weather. And I don't know, I just felt really inspired to just turn the camera on and talk to the camera slash talk to all of you guys out there. And honestly, I don't even really know what this video is going to be completely about. I'll probably think of some kind of title later, but I don't know, I just feel inspired by the trees and the sun and the sounds and just like the smells of the Michigan woods and I just want to talk about some stuff. So I'm going to lean back and chill, put my feet up on the table, well there's like a little thing under the table, and just chat with you guys. So as I was sitting out here, I was just kind of thinking about my life and kind of like how my life has changed over the past, how old am I now? 33 years and how so many things have happened to me that have kind of shaped who I am. Yet even though I've changed over the years, certain things about myself have remained constant. I don't know, like, when I kind of think about it and look back, like, you know, about, and I think about the people who have shaped who I am as a person and helped me to become me throughout my life. I think about each of these people and I think about how every single person who enters our lives is gonna be either here for the short term or the long term, but every person that we meet will somehow shape us and impact us in becoming the person that we are. Whether that be a good thing or a bad thing, but at the end of the day, all of the people that we meet and all the experiences that we have create who we are and make us who we are. So specifically, for example, um, you guys probably saw the video I already posted either last week, I filmed it yesterday, but I'll probably post it before I post this one. And in the video, as you guys saw, we spent the entire day with my best friend and her family. and. We have been literally best friends since second grade. So that was what, like 1995 or something like that. To think that like I've been best friends with someone for 25 years just seems crazy to me. Like I remember we met in second grade. I think it was in the cafeteria or something. And I can't remember who approached who first, but one of us said, hey, can I sit with you? And the other one said yes. And ever since then, we've been partners in crime and we've shared every aspect about our lives. And, you know, growing up, we've shared everything. We got in trouble together, we built each other up, we would study together, we would hang out on the weekends, and when I went away to college, our lives changed, but we still made a point to meet up with each other and talk and share our live stories together, even though we weren't together all the time. And when I moved abroad, the same thing kind of happened. We still talked all the time, although we talked less often, but every single time that we talked, it was as if nothing had changed. And as we were going up through all the years, like we've always done things differently, yet at the same time, we've ended up in the same place. For example, like we both wanted to grow up and have careers. We both did it in our own pace in different ways, and we were there to support each other through all of it. And then all of a sudden, we grew up, and here we are, and we're both exactly who we wanted to be, and we both have little families and growing up like we always talked about wanting to raise our babies together and now 25 years later like we're both exactly where we wanted to go and I don't know there's something about seeing our babies play together on the beach yesterday that just melted both of our hearts and I don't know why I'm sharing all this and I don't know how much I'm gonna edit out but I don't know I guess what I really wanted to pop on here and say is I know that a lot of people who watch my channel are expats or people who watch my channel are far away from their families and you don't get to spend a lot of time with your family and I know that that can be really difficult trust me like I've lived abroad what is it three times now and I get it I understand how difficult it can be to be away from all the people that you love but if you're in a situation or in a place where you don't have close friends around and you don't have family around God's gonna bring you people that are gonna come into your life and help to fill those voids for you and I know people who watch my channel may not necessarily have close relationships with their biological families. And you know what? That's totally fine. But um, over the years, it's one thing I've learned about family is that 
I love my family. I do. I love my husband's family. I love my family. But especially because I have an adopted son, family is so much more than blood. Family are the people that you choose to surround yourself with. What I guess I'm trying to say is that, you know, when people come into your life, whether they be a biological family or friends, when you find someone that you connect with, cultivate the crap out of that friendship. And when you get a chance to reunite with those people that you haven't seen in a long time, pack that time with as much connection as you can and just ride the wave and let that continue to inspire you as you continue on your life's journey. So yeah, that's all I have to say. I don't know if it made any sense. I might delete this video later. I might not even upload this video, but if you liked it, make sure to like and subscribe, share your thoughts on all the stuff I said down below, and I will see you guys later. Thank you guys for watching.